Hi, good morning. I'm Lucas, and we're going to do a 60 minutes uh, level two vinyasa flow today. There's a link to uh, some music in the description. We're going to cue a lot with the breath today. So, um, tuning into your breath, just finding a place to sit for another uh, minute or so, just tuning into how the body feels today. Uh, we're definitely going to get it moving. We're going to do um, a, a lot of vinyasas today. We're going to stretch and strengthen and really power up to uh, activate the energy channels of the body, uh, body and, and increase our, <laughs> our blood flow today. <laughs> okay. So just start by tuning into your breath. Take three deep, powerful breaths before we begin. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhaling deeply and letting go. Take a big breath in and then exhale audibly, shift forward, coming to a child's pose on the mat. If you do have a block, you can put that up by the top of the mat. Just letting whatever may be on the mind slide off onto your mat. Oftentimes we get so caught up in the mind that it can be really helpful to just drop into the body, take a break from all of that thinking and work with the nervous system, the intelligence of the body. Just take another couple breaths here, softening into the pose. Good, now come up to a tabletop, look over the right shoulder, look over the left shoulder, press the palms in, spread the fingers wide, and take some circles with the hips. Circling in whatever way feels good for you, get both directions. Just take some intuitive movements here. Pressing back and forth, take the hips back, bring the hands a bit forward, take it forward. Activate into the arms, the wrists, the hips, the back. Let's take a few more intuitive movements. Notice what areas of the body are asking for more tension, more movement, and breathe into that. Send your movements there. Very good. Find a down dog. Send your hips high and pedal out your dog. Take whatever other movements help you settle into down dog here. Bringing the chest towards the thighs, pressing the palms down. Explore this mountain peak. Good, towards the hands and make your way up to the top. Halfway lift and fold. Good, draw the navel into the spine, stack the vertebrae, take the arms up, take the hands to the heart, find your balance. Take a moment to set an intention for your class today. What brings you back to yoga? Good, we'll begin with Dharma Mitra sun salutations. Sweep the arms up with the inhale. And with the exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. 
inhale, step your right foot back, low lunge. Retain the breath, take the left foot back. Exhale, high plank to low plank. Option to take the knees down here in the beginning. Inhale, pull the chest forward. Exhale, press to down dog. Take three breaths here. And with an inhale, bring your right foot up. Exhale, left foot to the top and fold. Inhale, roots rise, the arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Left side, reach up. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, left foot back. Retain, right foot. Exhale, hug your elbows in. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths. Crawling into the present moment. And if you're if you're just joining us now, I mentioned in the beginning of class that there's a, a Spotify playlist in the description if you want to throw that on. Up to you. No leg lift. Take your left foot forward. Exhale the right foot up. Inhale, roots arise. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good, that was round one, we'll do two more. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale your right foot. Left foot, ride the breath down. Inhale forward. And exhale back. So during class today, feel free to take any modifications or variations. Take it up a notch, take it down a notch. Always take a resting pose at any time. Inhale your right foot forward. Take the left foot up. Inhale, full extension. Exhale, hands at Anjali Mudra. Good. Inhale up. Exhale, take it down, Uttanasana. Inhale, the left foot back. Take the right foot back and lower. Inhale, shines the heart. With an exhale, press it back. Lengthen your down dog. Expand through your dance. Press your hips up like you're building a mountain. Now left foot forward. Right foot in fold. Inhale up. Exhale to the heart. Good. Last round here. Inhale. We reach up. Exhale. Take it down. Inhale your right foot. Left foot, ride the breath down and flow. <sighs> Throughout class today, move with your breath, follow along with my pace, or move with your own rhythm. Good. Inhale your right foot up. Left foot and fold. Roots arise. To the heart. Good. Last side. Inhale up. And fold. Inhale, left foot. Right foot. Exhale. Broaden the collar. Shine the heart forward. And exhale. Press back. Good, three deep breaths, tuning into your breath, letting everything else fade out.
And inhale the left foot up. Right foot and fold. Roll up the spine. Take the arms up high. Exhale to your heart. Good. Pause for a moment. Take a breath. Sun Salutation A Series, inhale up, exhale, fold. Take a half lay lift, flat back. Plant your hands, bend your knees, press and float. Take your vinyasa, choose your vinyasa adventure here. Bend your knees, press your hips back, get the back real flat. Good. Bend your knees to prepare. Inhale, look up. Exhale, press and flow. Halfway lift and fold. Inhale, roots rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good. Take a breath here. And let's do that again. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, fold. Bring your head up, lengthen. Plant the hands, press and flow. Hug your elbows in, shift forward. And press back. Making down dog a resting pose. Good, inhale to prepare, gaze up. Bend your knees, press and land, halfway lift and fold. Good, reach to rise, take the arms up. And now accept to the heart for a breath. Let's make our way to down dog again, inhale up. And swan dive down. Raise the head. Press and flow. Now from down dog, I want you to take your right hand to your right shin. And then we're gonna shift forward, reach that right hand forward, three-limbed plank, inhale. Exhale, take it back, reach for that shin. Good, inhale forward. And exhale, reach back. Let's do one more, inhale. And exhale, reach back. Good, coming to plank pose. And let's do the left side, inhale. Exhale, press high, take your left hand to your left shin. Perfect. Inhale, reach that left hand forward. Exhale, press it back. Inhale. And back, good. Let's do one more. Inhale, reach forward. And exhale back. And come on back to plank. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Good. Inhale forward. Exhale, down dog. Bend your knees and look up. Press and fly. Halfway lift. And fold. Press the heels. Roll up the spine. Take a mind. Exhale, hands to your heart. Let's sweep our arms back and take a chair pose. Inhale and chair. Exhale, fold, sweep the arms back. Good. Inhale, chair. Exhale, straighten the legs and fold. Inhale, chair. Two more. Sit deeply and then hinge. Good. Chair pose. Inhale. Bring your hands together at your heart. Lengthen your spine. Draw your feet together. Zip the legs up. Inhale again. And twist to your right. Hook that elbow. Press the palms towards your heart. And breathe.
Good. Inhale to the center. And fold. Take your feet wide. Take opposite elbows here. Shake the head, no problem. Nod the head, yes, please. Keep holding onto opposite elbows. Come up onto your tippy toes. Drive your forearms down. Keep releasing through the head and neck. You got this. Find your balance. Good. Release down. Find a halfway lift and a fold. Bring your feet together. Sweep the arms back into your chair. Bring the hands together with the heart. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist to your left, hook the elbow. Drive your bottom ribs through and your top shoulder back. Keep your knees in line. Perfect. And then inhale to center. Exhale, straighten and fold. Take a halfway lift, really flatten the back. And then fold for Padagustasana. Take your peace fingers around your big toes. Bend the knees. Use your biceps. Draw yourself down. You may straighten into the legs. And I like to nod my head here. Take some nods. Good. Release that halfway lift. Take the hands down. Step back to a plank pose. Press back to down dog. Good. Inhale your right foot up. Exhale, step it forward. Rise to warrior one. Set it up. Square your shoulders forward, level with pelvis. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, ride your breath all the way down through vinyasa. Inhale your left. Exhale, step it forward. Or your one. Drive your back heel down. Feel your strength. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, rock your breath down. Take that left foot high. Three limbed chaturanga. Good. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bend your knees, inhale, look up. Press, land, halfway. And fold. Let's take a chair pose. Inhale, exhale, hands together, and we stand. Good work. Take a chair. Inhale. Exhale, hands down. Hands down, bend the knees and flow. Inhale your right foot up. Exhale, step it forward. One breath, one movement here. Inhale up. And ride your exhale down. Three legged plank. Shift it forward. And press back. Good. Left side. Inhale. Foot up. Exhale. Step it forward. Inhale. Warrior one. And then ride the exhale down. Take that left foot high. Hold it as you lower. And then drop. Pull the chest forward. Good. Down dog for three breaths. Take a deep And exhale. Good. Breathe in completely. And let it go. And bend your knees, coil up to prepare. Exhale, pounce, and way lift, and fold. Roots to rise, let's take it all the way up. Bring the hands together and reach up and back, reach up and back. Good, exhale to the heart. Inhale and do chair pose. Come up onto your tippy toes again. Sit a bit deeper, inhale, inhale, exhale, heel. Unfold. Boil it. Plant and press. 
and using your breath to move through this flow. Inhale your right foot up. Exhale, take it to your nose. Inhale, reach it high. Exhale to your right elbow. Inhale, extend it up. Exhale to your nose. Inhale, reach it high. On triangle, exhale to your left elbow. Straighten the leg, spin the heel down, reach up. Feeling the power in your bottom palm here. Good. And then find your three-legged dog. And step it up. Warrior one. Straighten through the arms. And then open up to Virabhadrasana B. Externally rotate that front thigh so you can see your big toes in line with your knee. And breathe. Shift forward, find a side angle here. This bottom hand can come down to the mat or a block. Then we're gonna come to reverse warrior. Take your front palm, flip it, scoop it, and reverse it. Gaze up. Inhale to prepare, you can straighten the leg. And windmill down, riding your exhale through your well, you can take that right foot up, hold it high as you lower down. Three limb chaturanga. Good. And down dog. Left side. Take that left foot high. And exhale, bring it to your nose. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, left elbow. Inhale on high. Take it to your nose. Lean forward around the spine. And take it back. Good. Deep inhale to prepare. Exhale to your right elbow. Straighten the leg. Reach up. Get your hips nice and high. You got this. <laughs> Ground the hand. Three-legged dog. And step it up. Drasana A. And open up to warrior two. Pressing the soles of the feet down. Feel that support and strength rise up the body. Extend it through your fingers and soften the shoulders. Gaze over your middle finger with that intention. And let's shift forward for side angle. Find your side angle. I like to work on this beautiful straight diagonal line. Let's come through warrior two, flip it and reverse it. Gaze up, strong foundation. Good, big inhale to prepare. You can straighten that leg and then fling the arms down with your exhale, nice and smooth with the breath. Deep down dog, bend your knees, spread the armpits, get your chest down. Let's take some dogs here. Bend your knees, gaze up. The exhale, press your hips. Just work on getting some hang time. Okay. Take a couple more. And then we're gonna make it to the top. So bend your knees, prepare. Exhale, press, and halfway. And fold. Reach to rise, take it up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Good, pause for a breath.
sweep it back. Let's find a chair pose. Come up onto your tippy toes again. Sit deeply, inhale. Exhale, straighten the legs and fold. Halfway lift, plant the hands, press and flow. Inhale, right foot high. Bend the knee, stack the hip. Where your shoulder. Good, inhale. Exhale, step it forward. Let's come up to warrior two. Side angle. Reach your bottom arm up in line for power and hold. Good, twist to your right, take the top hand down, stack the shoulders. Draw the hips in, drive that bottom heel back. And we're gonna take a big step back to Vashastasana on our left side here. You can always lower the knees, stagger your feet. Take a flag pose, gaze up. Extra challenge here to close the eyes. And then let's come through plank, high to low, and move through your flow. Left side, and hit that left foot up high. And then you can point the toe. And inhale even higher. Exhale, step it up. Or two. Nice and smooth. Side angle. Reach that bottom arm up in line. Two lasers here, real straight. And right hand down, left hand high. Yes. Big step back, Vashi on your right, nice and smooth. Close the eyes. Good work, round the hand, high to low. Pull the chest forward and press your hips high. Take a deep breath in and roar it out. Good. And now gaze up. Exhale, press and land halfway and fold. Root to rise, take it high. Exhale, hands to your heart. Take a breath. Good. Let's into a chair pose. <clears throat> Inhale a bit deeper. Exhale, straighten your legs and fold. Left foot back, reach your right hand up. Low lunge twist. Good, three-legged dog. And step your right foot up here. Keep your back heel high. Rise to Anjaniasana, high crescent. Inhale, exhale, lean and sweep. Good, inhale. Exhale, lean and sweep. Inhale up, we're gonna come to warrior three. So when you sweep, drive the crown of your head forward, shift your weight. When we do these balance exercises, play around with micro adjustments, constantly reevaluating and finding the balance, keeping your focus. Okay, we're gonna come back to high lunge. Take those toes down, keep the heel high. Good, that one's a smooth transition here. Take the arms up, inhale. Exhale, sweep them back. And then when we sweep our arms up, we're gonna come to a tree. So sweep that back knee up high. Good, and then find your tree pose. Start with the hands at the heart. Find your balance here, find your breath. 
Reach the arms, grow your branches, gaze up. Extend long through the spine. Good, inhale. And exhale, swan dive forward. Parallel the feet, sweep the arms, chair pose. Good, sit real deep, inhale. Exhale, straighten your legs and fold. Take your right foot back, put your left hand up. Perfect. Three-legged dog. And step that left foot up, keep your back heel high, rise up. Inhale, exhale, lean and sweep. Inhale, take your fingers top, up high. Exhale, point your fingers to your back toes. Good, inhale up. And this time we're gonna drop forward, lean and sweep, warrior three. Good, float that foot back, take the arms up high. Exhale, lean and sweep. And with this inhale, we're gonna sweep our back knee up to tree. You can start with the hands at the heart and then grow your branches. Gaze up, reach up, get tall. Good, inhale. Exhale, swan dive down. Good, halfway lift. Plant the hands, bend the knees, press and flow. Down dog. Inhale, your right foot up high. Bend the knee, stack the hip. Exhale, knee to your nose. Take your knee to your left arm. To your right arm. To your left arm. And then take it all the way to your right, up and back. Stack the hip. Take a flip. Press your hips up high. Now, if you can see me in the camera here, we're going to take a high five on three. Ready? One. Two, three. Yes. Ground that hand. Big step around and up with your right foot. Um, warrior one. Good. Now we're going to straighten the legs and pivot and turn. Warrior two facing the back of the mat. Straighten your front leg. Draw the hip in. Reach the hand. Hinge into Trikonasana. Lengthen both sides of the torso. Good, bend into that knee, reverse warrior. Inhale, with an exhale, we're gonna come to half moon. Shift your weight forward and fly. Now option to stay here or bend your back knee, take hold of it with your top hand for candy cane. Good, release the hands down. Take that, keep that right foot high. You can take hold of the left foot for standing splits. Good, and then lower the right foot down. Take a halfway lift. Bend the knees, press and flow. Vinyasa. Left side, inhale your left foot up high. Oh, and if you're facing the back of the mat, then you did it right. Well done. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Take your knee to your right arm, to your left arm, to your right arm, to the left, big up around, stack it and flip it. Take your feet parallel and your hips high. And we'll go for that high five here. One, two, three, and high five behind you. Perfect. Ground the hand, big step around and up with your left foot, warrior one. And inhale, pivot and turn, warrior two, facing the front of the mat. Perfect. Straighten your front leg, draw the hip in, reach cock and tilt the pelvis. I want you to press your front heel down and press your back heel down. Feel that convergence in the tail, rising to the crown of your head. Nice straight lines. Good, warrior two. I'm gonna shift back a little bit so I don't go through the window. Reverse warrior to prepare, inhale. 
Uh, exhale, take it forward. Of course, you can always use that block here as well, which is definitely helpful for getting into candy cane if you want to bend that top leg. Take it with the hand. Opening up the hip, opening up the chest. Good, let go of the bind. Take your left foot high, take the hands down, standing splits. You can take hold of the right foot for some more leverage here. Good, and lower it down. Halfway lift and fold. Take your feet wide here. Take a ragdoll, sway side to side. Good. Take the hands down at here. Come down to your forearms. Come to a four plank. Make sure you have a little bit of space in front of you if you're going to go for the forearm plank with me here. So, and tip your feet up. Draw your chest back towards your thighs. Dolphin pose. Then, if you have a forearm stand in your practice and you want to go for Pinchamayarasana. Taking one leg up at a time. Get some hang time. Find it. You're welcome to take a classical headstand as well. Keeping the pressure in the elbows. And then take it down. And to a child's pose. Here, you can take your, your knees together for this child's pose. Take your Hands out long along your sides and rest the forehead down. Good, come on up. Take your feet in front of you here. We're gonna do an ab series. So take the palm your and take your You just not crush my audio cable while we do this here. So take your hands under your seat if you like, hips, uh, feet straight up, then take them to 60 and take them to 30. Good, to 60, straight up, 60, 30, float them two inches up off the mat, 30, 60, straight up. Good, if you're shaking, that means it's working, 60, 30, Two inches. Good. Bring your knees in here. Knees stacked over top of your hips. And then crunch up to a boat pose. Good. Take the legs straight, and we're going to pulse for three, for two, and for one. Good. Bend your knees. Come over. Shoot your legs back. Press up to a down dog. Take two more easy breaths here in down dog. Good. Bend your knees. Inhale, look up. Exhale, press and flow. Halfway lift and fold. Take everything up high. Take your right knee up high. Then step that right foot back to warrior one. Open up to warrior two. Inhale, sky archer and hold. Bring your palms together. Wrap your thumbs together. Reach up, inhale. We're going to come to revolved crescent lunge. So with your next exhale, twist to your left, bending that left knee, hooking the elbows. Nice straight line here. Now step your back foot up to meet your front foot. Take the hands side, come to a side crow here. Bring your left. Good option to take. And come back to center here. We're going to do shooting back from crow. So take your knees up high onto your arms. And then press back. Good. Take your transition. Your knees inhale, look up. Press and land. Halfway lift. And fold. 
Good. Sweep the arms up. Raise your left knee up high. Then step it back, warrior one. Open up to warrior two. Straighten that front leg. Take the arms up overhead. Sky archer. Interlace the thumbs and breathe. Take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, twist to your right. Spin that back heel up. Hook the elbows. Send a long line through your back heel. Then step that back foot up to meet your front. Stay here or come to your side curl. Let's play around with it. And come back up to the top here. This time, let's find a squat. So you're welcome to take a block underneath the heels if that helps you. Get the heels down on something. Press your elbows into your knees. Broaden your collar and breathe. Good. Go ahead and come out of that. Come up to standing. Roll up the spine. Take the arms high. And take them to the heart. Good. Let's take a wide-legged stand. So feet parallel. Inhale the arms up. And exhale, fold forward. You can walk your hands further back. Take hold of the feet. Draw yourself down. However, helps you get deeper into this pose. Good. Now take your hands over to your foot here. <clears throat> Come. So choose your lizard adventure here. You can wrap this front leg around your front arm. If you want to come to a flying lizard, wrap the arm real high up on the bicep, point the toe, and then take your weight forward for a flying lizard. All right, take a more restorative lizard. You can go for it. Take a couple more breaths wherever you're at. Good. And then come up onto the heel of that back foot. Take Skandasana here. However your Skandasana looks, get into that right heel. Good. Take Skandasana on the other side. Perfect. And then step back up to the front of the mat. Rise all the way up. Take your hands to your heart. Good. Step back out to that wide-legged shape again. Take your hands behind your back. We're going to go for the bind. So inhale, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, hinge forward. Take the hands up high. Good. You can release the bind. Walk the hands towards the back of your mat. Now find lizard on this side. Again, if you want to go for that flying lizard, take your front foot high up on the bicep, wrap it, and point the toe. Shift your weight. Take a couple more breaths. Your lizard adventure here. Very good. Then come up onto that front heel. Lean into your right knee into your right hip, and then scan Dasana on the other side. Good. And again, up to the front of the mat. Root to rise, take the arms up high. Inhale. Exhale to the heart. Good. Let's take it down to the mat. So reach your hands forward, come up onto your tippy toes, onto the toes. Keep your heels high. We're going to lower down real slow. Take the hips down nice and slow. Good. Take the knees wide. Lean 
forward, gracefully sit the hips back, and you can take the back all the way down, press your hips up high, press them up, press them up. Good, and then lower it down and take a breath. And go for a bridge here, press your hips up. You can interlace the palms, try interlacing your palms with your opposite thumb on top. Press the belly high and the chest back. And release the arms off in the chest, roll down the back. Good, windshield wiper your knees. And then take straight. Go for another bridge, or if you want to go for a wheel, take your palms next to your ears, fingers, point it down, come up to the top of your head first, set it up, and then rise up. Let your head just drift back. When you're ready to come out, tuck your chin, come down to your shoulders, roll down the spine. Good, take a breath. Let's hold behind our knees here. Let's take some rocks back and forth. Rocks. All right. And gently rock up into a seated pose here. Take your feet nice and wide. Come into a wide legged stance. So some of you will be able to just reach forward. For me, it's helpful to press behind my back, press my chest forward. Good, now take your right foot to your left thigh. Turn your toes up, face them, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge forward. You can that helps you here. Breathe. Keep the spine long. We don't wanna we don't wanna try to go too far that we have to round the spine super far, okay? Good. Now rise the back up. Take your right knee straight. Take your left hand behind you. Your right, right leg here. You can catch hands behind you. Draw your sternum forward for Marichyasana. Perfect. Now let's let that go. Come back to the wide-legged stance for a couple breaths. Get into it so you feel it on either side of your hip. And then take your left foot to your right thigh. Take those right toes directly up. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, hinge forward. Always listen to your body. Always listen to your body. I have a bit of a knee thing here, so I keep this knee a little bent. And I stay active. And breathe. Good. Stack the vertebrae. Take your left knee in. Take the foot in real tight. Right hand comes behind you. Left hand wraps in front of the shin. You catch hands. Gaze up. Open the chest. Good. Let that go. Let's take both knees, both feet in front of us. Inhale, reach the arms up. I like to bend my knees a lot here. Inhale up, take hold of the feet. You can even use the arms to draw yourself forward. So you're lengthening the spine. Use your arms to pull your spine long. Good, and then gently let it go. Lowering back. And after all those forward bends, let's take a fish pose here. So you can take your palms underneath your seat. 
point your toes, draw your elbows in, press your chest up. Draw your sternum up and your shoulders back. Good, and then gently lower down. Bring your knees into your chest with the knees above the hips. Breathe. Good, take some circles with the knees. And circle the opposite. Then for supine twist. Fold to the right, left leg around your right leg, or you could take a block, take a block underneath or in between your thighs, gaze over your left shoulder. Take one more really full breath with a smooth exhale. And bring your knees into your chest. Give them a squeeze. And then same deal on the other side. Cross your legs, use a block. Gaze over your right. Softening the shoulders, easing into the stretch. Take a couple more full cycles of breath here. And then bring your knees into your chest. Let's take a closing happy baby. soles of the feet and rocking back and forth. Rock side to side, take the feet wide, find a cow, whatever helps enjoy your happy baby. And when you're ready, together, come in, tuck in, and with an exhale, coming to Shavasana. If you want to dim the lights, set the music, something like that, before you ease into stillness, go ahead and go for it. Such an important part of our practice to allow our body the space and time to integrate all the movements, the flexibility and the strength that we just built. Feel into your body, 
Notice the increase blood flow. Checking in with how your body feels different than when you began the practice. And the more the body relaxes, the greater benefit that we get from Shavasana. So one way to help the body relax is just to bring a slight smile to the face, letting the mind, the subconscious mind know that it's a great time to relax. Staying relaxed, drawing into and all of the sensory information here. Breathe deeply. Feel into your next breath, expanding the lungs in three dimensions. Let it go. Take a deep, full breath into the belly, the chest, and the shoulders. And smoothly exhale. Heat, so wiggle your fingers and rock on your heel. Rolling the wrists and waking up the body with some gentle intentional movements. Reach your arms up overhead and point the toes. And then wrap your arms around your shins. You can gently rock side to side. And then make your way up to those. You can come on to one side for a breath. And then press up. Take another few breaths here.
And let's take one more breath to close. Exhale fully. Take the deepest, fullest breath in yet today. And let it all go. <sighs> Thanks so much for joining me today. Again, my name is Lucas. This was a 60-minute level two flow. So we try to switch it up a little bit every week. Uh, we'll be back again next week at uh, 10 o'clock on Wednesday and Thursday. So thanks so much. <laughs> Thumbs up to you as well, friend. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Please have uh, lots of fruits and vegetables and get out and enjoy the sun. It's a beautiful, it's going to be a beautiful day out there and a really, really wonderful weekend. All right, folks, take care.